painting with high pressure. It's a way of life for German artist Klaus Dauven. This time, his canvas is a harbour wall in the southern French city of Set. He plans to spray 13 images of reverse graffiti here. Dirt is removed from the wall, giving rise to an image. I love working outside with all the challenges involved. I'm often asked an interesting question. Does it bother me that the work is transient? That it has a limited lifespan? But something temporary like this can carry meaning and messages about life. His tool is a high-pressure cleaner, which he uses to spray water onto the wall. Dalvin has worked for years with technician Nick Hayden from the Kalsha company, which makes the cleaners. For this project, the water for the high-pressure water gun comes directly from the Mediterranean. The beauty is in the fact that water is the only way to achieve such a brilliant contrast. When you clean off the organic material, it gives rise to such clear contours that lend the figures an astonishingly expressive quality. Dalvin uses wood stencils to create his reverse graffiti images. He's planned a series of 13 portraits for the harbour wall. Portraits of people who once lived in Set. I've bought books, anthologies with old photos of Set, and I've picked out the most expressive faces. I didn't want celebrities, but rather people whose faces really express something about life. And that was the only criterion, just men, women and children, a cross-section of society. Set is located 30 kilometers south of Montpellier. It's one of the most important fishing ports on France's Mediterranean coast. The harbour wall is one of its landmarks. It's 650 meters long and nearly three meters high. The harbour wall was the first building project that turned Set into a city. The port was built 350 years ago, and that informed this artwork. On the first day, Dalvin completes three portraits. In his day job, he works as an art teacher, but it's reverse graffiti that occupies his free time. He's collaborated with Kalsha since 2007. The German company is the world's biggest manufacturer of cleaning equipment. Their first major joint project was on the Olef Dam in western Germany, with a work covering 8,000 square meters. It was followed by blossoming flowers in Japan in 2008 and in 2012 a gigantic tiger in South Korea. Reverse graffiti, is for me Reverse graffiti is the perfect art form for me. I've always had a weakness for large-scale works. Now I can really bring that to life on dams. There's no bigger canvas in art. Kelsha has its own cultural sponsorship program, along with more than three decades' experience in cleaning monuments. One of its most spectacular projects came in 2005, when it removed grime from the heads of the US presidents on Mount Rushmore. It did the same for the statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro and the Hermann Monument in Germany. Kirscher has cleaned more than 140 tourist attractions worldwide, free of charge. You need a lot of water or high-pressure hoses. Then you have to bridge the distances with power lines, water connections and so on. You can also use generators to avoid long power cables. Um, so lange Kabel zu vermeiden. After three days, Dalvin is finished, and the Set Harbour Wall is now probably the longest open air gallery in the south of France. How long it remains depends on three factors, the slope of the wall, the direction it's facing and the climate. And my experience would say that because it faces north, there's a good chance this work will survive for at least five years. The People is the title of Klaus Dauven's tribute to 13 city inhabitants. Although reverse graffiti fades over time, his art is likely to live on in the community's memory for years to come.